Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. And welcome to my video title, Peace to Your Descendants in the Name of Jesus. I hope you and yours are doing well. The following is a prophetic commentary on the Word of God, inspired by the Word of God. Quote, I have given you the position and the authority to help form the future of your descendants. For even as Mordecai of the book of Esther the Jew paved the way for his descendants to live in peace, uh, you are given the ability to do so in the name of Jesus. Close quote. The following is prophetic scripture from the book of Esther, chapter 10, verse 3, and it says, For Mordecai the Jew was next unto King Ahasuerus, and great among the Jews, and accepted of the multitude of his brethren, seeking the wealth of his people, and speaking peace to all his seed. Close quote. The following is a scriptural commentary. And it says, When the Lord gave Mordecai a position as second in command over the provinces of King Ahasuerus, Xerxes, Mordecai made a point to see to the welfare of the Jews and his own personal descendants. One key way he did that was by giving them a peace declaration in Esther chapter 10, verse 3. The King James says, quote, speaking peace to all his seed, close quote. The Amplified says it similarly. Some other translations say he spoke up for their welfare. I believe both angles apply. Mordecai had the position to not only give voice to the people's needs, but he also spoke over them in such a way that it set their course in peace and holiness. As God's people, we have been given authority to form the future of both our natural and, in many cases, spiritual descendants. Parents can do it for their children. Pastors can do it for their congregation and so forth. We provide peace to our descendants in two ways. First, look out for their benefits, create an environment where they will enjoy personal fulfillment and growth. Second, speak peace over them and to, and to them. Declare their lives will be blessed in the name of Jesus and fill a full of abundance in the name of Jesus. As the person who God has a position, you have a divine gift to form their future. Stand up today and speak peace to your descendants in the name of Jesus. As I speak peace to my descendants in the name of Jesus. Peace unto everyone in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. The following is a prayer that it also includes you, the viewer. And it says, Father God, I declare peace over my descendants today. I say their future will be full of peace of God. And I commit to create for them a positive environment of peace and holiness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your friends. God bless your enemies that they should leave you alone. 
God bless your community. God bless your neighborhood. God bless your town. God bless your city. God bless your state. God bless your government. God bless your country. God bless the whole world for his praise and for his glory. And of course, for our benefits, remembering that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. Hallelujah. Well, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye and take care.